everybody. Welcome. I um, thought I'd start out with showing my face and welcome you all and show you what the colors are going to be for today's um, acrylic pour. And um, I'll let you know they're all mixed up with the median that's the bare uh, base. It's the high gloss. Um, deep base untinted paint and it um, I'm almost out of this so I need to go I don't think I, can, I don't think the bear is available anymore I'm making a mess my usual <laughs> um, and then so it's mixed with this and the um, Minwax Polycrylic and these are um, a bloom recipe basically it's one of the variations of the bloom recipe um, and it's about from, I, I weighed it this time and I don't know if their densities are the same, but from a weight perspective, I did about two parts of the bare, one part of the polycrylic. And then on some of the paints, I added a little more poly. So, um, like the Artesia paint's pretty thick. So anyway, let me, um, let me show you what I have. So we're going to start down here. I'm going to do kind of a brown and green theme. So this first color is um, Liquitex Basic and it's raw sienna. That's the first one. The next one is, um, this is Amsterdam and it's burnt umber. So it's basically just a brown. Um, pretty cool. And next one's a metallic. And it's, I don't have much left in this jar, but it's um, Modern Masters Metallic Paint Collection Satin Finish, and the color is Antique Bronze Semi-Opaque. Semi -opaque. Um, I had three jars of this. This color, kind of a pumpkin-y, peachy color, and then the um, blue color that I've been doing in the last few videos. Um, I looked them up to see if they still had them on Michael's today, and they do still sell it. It's pretty expensive. It's like 10 something for this little jar, six ounces. So I'm sure when I bought them, it was like 50% off coupon because it's not a lot for the money. I'm, I'm definitely a coupon girl and I, I, I've never used the more expensive stuff. Like I've never used golden and I pretty much only buy stuff when I can get a good deal on it. So coupon or, um, or I have to be really desperate, I guess. <laughs> So anyway, the next color is Artesia and it's a phthalo green. So it's just the little squirty tube and that's this one. It's pretty deep, very deep green. And then let's see, the next one is Artesia and it's pale green. Although to me, it looks more like fluorescent green, but I don't know if you can see that. So that one's pretty bright. Lots of greens. Um, then I have this is leftover from my last pour. It's the it's the Artist Loft Metallic Green Leaf or Leaf Green rather, um, and it's just got that very shimmery metallic look. And then I have I've got a lot of colors today, so I'm maybe I don't know. Hopefully I'll use them all. But the next one is a Bling It from Color Art, and. Um, so these are uh, mica powders, mica and minerals, and they add interference and chrome and metal effects. And so I went with one that's kind of has a little bit of a greenish hue. It probably looks a little more blue right here. I'm gonna, this is the first time I've used this color. So I'm gonna put a little dab on the lid. And this one is mermaid scales. I didn't already say that one. So, so that's that one. Well, really like that color. I think it'll be more of a kind of a, a very subtle finish with that one. And then um, I did this Deco Art White Pearl. And again, this one's like a metallic, um, very metallic-y pearly white. So just wanted something to add a little more metallic and I, I think the metallics work well with the cells. So I actually think I have, I have three metallics and I have one that's the mica 
which kind of is metallic. It's got a metal effect to it. So um, anyway, let me um, go ahead and I need to uh, reset with the canvas and we'll get started. I think I'm going to do um, a swipe today. And um, so we'll put down a pillow paint for that. Okay, everyone, um, went with a pretty big canvas today. This one is 18 by 24. It's an Artist Loft brand, um, just a level one canvas. Um, and since it's so big, I, I use the push pins on the bottom instead of um, using my, usually I set it on my wire rack but it was gonna be right, I don't know. I just thought I'd try it with the push pins, see if I, that would help a little bit. So, so I have some Walmart black semi-gloss paint. It's the Color Place brand, just off the shelf. And I bought this used as a pillow paint and I think I've only used it maybe once. Um, I'm going to pour some in a cup. So, let's see. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm wondering if I should just add a touch of Floetrol into here. It is pretty thick. I think it will. I don't have a lot of space, but. Just a little tiny bit, just to loosen it up a little. So I had been filtering my my Floetrol. I tried to use this earlier. I was making some uh, activator, and I made the mistake of letting it dry without washing it. I forgot, and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> So if you use one of those, just make sure you clean it each time really well. Because, um, yeah, that was, that was a bad call on my part. I, uh, I actually just started using it for the flow trawl, and it really works well to get the chunks out. I've seen other people, they put like a mesh or like a woman's nylon on the end to pour through which would be another good idea, except I haven't bought nylons in probably 20 years, maybe longer. <laughs> so they used to be something I'd wear at least once or twice a week back when I first started working. I would dress up more. So anyway, well, yeah, I mean, that was a lot of flow trial. That was probably for this whole cup maybe an eighth of the cup so seven parts to one part it wasn't it wasn't that much but um okay nervous i'm just gonna do it okay i'm gonna pour the most in the middle because that's where i want to center my design and then i'm gonna Spread it out to the sides, and I guess I can always add more if I need it. This would have been a good one to actually, I actually have some black canvases, a little smaller. I think they're 16 by 20s. This would have been a good one to use the black canvas on. But. So yeah, I, if you, watched a couple of my other videos. This is not working out so well. Um, I tried my new, I got my kiddie pool and I tried it with the spinner. And oh my goodness, I had such a hard time keeping it from flying off the spinner. I mean, I think they came out decent, but it was harder than I thought. And definitely it's not big enough to do a piece this big, so. But I like the swipe effect too, so I think I think that's you know that's a good compromise. 
So yeah, I think I might need a little more paint for this, but I do want to tilt it when I'm done. I don't want to end up with well, it's still pretty thick in the middle, so it might be might be doable. This also isn't the best thing to spread it with. I have a spatula. I should have used that. For some reason, I, I focused on that one for my white, and <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Plus, this was already dirty because I used it to stir, so. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I've got enough. Um, I have a tendency sometimes to put too much paint, so I don't think, I mean, the idea here is that I'm going to be, I just need enough to make it move. And I feel like there's a lot still in the middle. Okay, I'm going to get my apron. I'm going to start with, I really don't even know, but I'm going to just pick these kind of randomly. This is the um, pale green, I think. We're just going to... So I might come back to the colors, but we will, we will see. Um, let's do, actually, we can do brown. So I want to make sure I have enough paint on here before I swipe. And I feel like I definitely got some movement going here. So, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, now I get to decide what the swipe color is going to be. So I just made up a new one. This is Payne's Gray. And I was originally going to use it, but now that I've got the black on there, I'm not sure. But I also have the Van Dyke Brown that I use a lot. I have a white, but I think I'm just going to stick with the gray just because it's a new color. We're just doing new stuff today. So let's think about this. Do I want to put a line and swipe it that way? Or do I want to do the technique with the, with the, random swipeys through. So I think I'm going to put the line and then we'll go from there. And 
I'm putting a pretty heavy line on this. Um, I might have to add more. Let me grab something to swipe it. Okay, so I'm just using a piece of um, the acet acetate, I think it's called. And uh, let's see. I need some paper towels, especially with the black. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be covered with black. But anyway. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit randomly, but I'm going to start in the middle from each one. Let's see. Clean this off. Okay. Two areas. I'm gonna move that one and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get a smaller piece of this. Let's see, this one's a little smaller. Okay, that one. Alrighty, guys. Now we get to tilt it. Let's see what we can what we can discover here. All right. Um, I wonder if I should torch it. I don't know if torching is a good idea with all the metallics or not, but I definitely have some bubbles. Okay. So I'm gonna go this way first.
Hmm. This is what they call slow as molasses. So, let's see if I can get it a little bit back in the center. So, I'm gonna this is dripping all over me. That's okay. Yeah, there's definitely some cool areas in here, but it I think it's a little bit different than the effect I was going for, um, but probably because I didn't have enough paint to pour. Let's see if I can. So yeah, I really, I think it's really cool. I think if you had the right decor, this would look really pretty. Um, definitely does not look like what I was going for. I, I wanted a lot of this, and I'll, I'll show you when I zoom in. Um, and I have a little bit here and there, but it's, it's not exactly what I wanted. have some areas I need to uh, touch up with my fingers here. And this top corner right here is what I'm trying to stretch without losing too much of this, but I'm trying to get that to stretch down just a little bit. So I think I think I'm gonna stop. Gonna, oops, it is floating around on all this paint. I've got a lot of, I've got a big area over here that doesn't have anything on it, so I'm trying to get the edge here. Mostly it got covered, just that one area, I think. Oh, here's one over here. And we'll have to see what's on the other side, so. Okay, guys, um, let me... Let me go clean up for a second and then I'll bring you down so you can kind of see the close up. There is some really cool things going on here. Um, I'm just not as happy with the composition as I would like. So, so yeah, um, let me, um, let me do that real quick as I continue here to mess with it. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good. Okay. Okay guys, taking you down on to see this uh, this swipe pour that we just did. Um, yeah, there's some really cool areas in it. Um, it's a little got a little too much busyness going on up here. Um, but it's got a lot of shimmer, so that's really cool. So anyway. There. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.